Let's talk about the YouTube thumbnails from the iPhone. I'm going to show you how you can upload one right from the iPhone and how you can create a brand new one in case you don't have a thumbnail just yet. Everything right from the iPhone. Let's begin. First of all, the app that you should download in case you're doing YouTube is, of course, the YouTube Studio. It's free, it's original from Google, so go ahead and download it and log in with your Gmail and Google account. So there you should be able to see all of your videos just like this and make sure to tap on one of the videos that you want to edit or that you want to up, uh, upload the thumbnail to and click on the pen which indicates the edit icon and click on the pen once again next to the thumbnail and there you should see four options three randomly generated thumbnails that YouTube somehow decided that you may want to use or the option to click on your custom one. So you can hit change and then you're gonna upload one from your gallery. So this is pretty much how it works. One problem could be there that you do not see anything else besides the three randomly generated options. That means that your channel doesn't support own custom thumbnails. In that case, it's going to be a little bit more complicated because you have to verify your channel with your phone number. For this, it's best to do it on a computer, like on the desktop version of the YouTube Studio, but it's theoretically possible to do it from the iPhone as well. You just have to use Safari or other web browser and access the desktop version of the Studio app. Once you are there, then make sure to navigate to the left side and there you're going to see the settings. So make sure to click on it. And there, if you scroll again, I mean, you don't even have to scroll. You can see it right on the left. That is the channel option, right? The second one and then click on feature eligibility. And there you can see that some features require phone verification and that includes custom thumbnails. So for this, you will, of course, need your phone number. You're going to have to type it in and someone either calls you or they use like a code verification. So pick whatever you want, but you're going to have to go through it in case you want to at least be able to upload your own thumbnails. By the way, guys, if you're new on this channel, I try to cover videos and topics like these just so I can help you with your YouTube channels and your iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches. It's like a main, mainly Apple channel, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next uploads and the next videos. You can also support this one with your thumbs up. That would, of course, be appreciated. Okay, once you have this set up, that means that you can upload thumbnails then it would be a good idea to create one, right? So for this, I would recommend you downloading the app called Thumbnail Maker. And this one, of course, can be found down below in the description of this video. But it's a free app with the ability to upgrade to a pro version. But so far, I think that you should be okay with the free version. And what it does is that it pretty much allows you to create a thumbnail with the custom themes. You can add text and some other cool stuff. So yeah, let's just get into it. I'm going to show you what it looks like and how you can use it. So down below in the middle, you can see the big red button with the plus icon. So make sure to tap on it and scroll down to see some uh, presets. So make sure to find YouTube and there you can see the thumbnail. This, These are the exact dimensions that I use for my thumbnails when I use Photoshop, for example. So make sure to click on this. And there are a couple of presets or some like backgrounds that you can try out. For example, the wall looks to be pretty interesting. So just tap on one thing and then hit save because we already chose the correct dimensions. So it's going to rotate the entire thing, the entire iPhone, because you're going to need to work in the landscape mode. And there you can see we have the options on the right, like to add text, stickers, then you have some sort of effects, then you can save it. And it actually looks pretty nice, I have to say, because, yeah, there are many options. So you can, for example, add text. This is probably going to be the most important thing. Of course, you're going to have to play around with it, but uh, it seems to be pretty, pretty cool looking so far. Then you can even choose the background again in case you're not satisfied with this one or just use a sticker. I mean, some of them are 
of course, like available to you for free, but for some of them, you're going to have to up, upgrade to the pro version. Like there are many things that you're missing out if you don't upgrade. So I think that they're doing a great job at convincing people to, to make sure and pay for the app. But you can, of course, uh, use like your own photos from the gallery to, to like upload them to the thumbnail. I mean, yeah, it looks it looks pretty good and uh, there are many possibilities on what you can do with it. Plus, if you also have like an app which allows you to like cut out the image and uh, delete the background, that's perfect in combination with this app. So like I say, you can add uh, some text images and whatever you want. Right now, it's up to your creativity. But a great thing about it is that you can simply download the entire thing by hitting the uh, save icon. So uh, it actually tells you that it's already been saved. You don't have to worry about the quality or the resolution or anything because we have already chosen it before and uh, the photo just appears in your gallery. And the thing I want to say about it is that there isn't anything like a watermark on it. So that that's cool that they allow you to get like the full image, anything that you would want. And it looks nice, to be honest. I actually like this app a lot. So this was pretty much everything what I wanted to say in this video. I hopefully gave you like an idea on how you can use and manage your YouTube channel without the need of like the computer you don't really need to do anything with it you can manage your youtube channel right from the iphone it's getting it's getting so much easier these days to do anything from like these portable devices like ios and ipad os stuff so I want to say thank you very much for watching and your support. We have recently crossed 100,000 subscribers on this channel. I am, of course, really grateful for your support. And if you are new on this channel, make sure to become part of the community. And yeah, of course, share your thoughts down below. I'm replying to pretty much every single comment. So yeah, go ahead and leave one down below. Thanks a lot for watching your support. And see you guys later in the next episode, in the next video. Peace out, guys.